Here, we are going to solve a puzzle that sounds arithmetic or maybe like number theory sort of problem. Uh, but we are going to solve this using some number system. And the puzzle goes something like this. Uh, there is a farmer who possesses 81 cows. And interestingly, the first one gives 1 liter of milk, the second one gives 2, the third one 3, and so on, up to the champion cow, which is cow number 81, giving 81 liters of milk every day. Now this farmer has uh, nine sons, uh, amongst whom he wants to divide his uh, cattle. So that each one gets not only the same number of cows, but also the same milk output per day. So let's start solving this puzzle. Uh, we'll show the cows first, all 81 of them, and we'll put them in a 9 by 9 grid. Uh, we can number them, say from 1 to 81. So this is uh, the cow that gives 1 liter of milk and this gives 81 liters of milk. And uh, then we'll start looking for some kind of pattern. But here we see no pattern at all because we have taken decimal numbers and we have stuffed them into a 9 by 9 grid. If this was a 10 by 10 grid, we would have seen some pattern. So we are going to shift our base to uh, 9 from the decimal system. But before we do that, I am going to make a small change where I will be replacing cow number 81, the champion, by cow number 0 which gives no milk at all. And you will see why I am doing that in a minute. Then we are going to take these numbers and we are going to convert them to base 9 numbers like this. And now let us come to this uh, last cow here, cow that gives 80 liters of milk, uh, which is represented by base 9 number 88. Had it been giving 81 liters of milk, our number would have become 100. Because remember, after 88, there are no 9s, so the next number is 100 in base 9 system. And then we would have had a three digit number here. If you notice, here all these numbers are two digit. And I have represented the first digit in blue and the second digit in red. And there is a good reason for that. If you focus only the blue digits, then they are already arranged neatly in rows. And there are nine zeros, nine ones, nine twos and so on. So instead of thinking in terms of dividing the numbers or the milk output, we can think in terms of the digits. Since we have 9 blue ones, let's give each son uh, a blue one. And each son would have a blue two and a blue three and a blue four and so on. So in terms of rows, it means each son will have a cow from each row. Similarly, if you focus on only the red digits, you'll notice there are 9 uh, red 1s, 9 red 2s, 9 red 3s and so on. So each son should get a red 1, a red 2, a red 3, a red 0 and so on. So each son should get a cow from every column and a cow from every row. So what's the way we can have 9 cows that cover all the rows and all the columns? Well, the simplest solution would be to get the diagonal. So this diagonal covers all the rows and all the columns as well. So here is already a solution uh, for at least one son who can get these cows and be happy. So how much milk is getting? Uh, we can do that calculation. There are 81 cows. The first gives 0 liters of milk. The last one gives 80. So the average is 0 plus 80 upon 2, 40 multiplied by 81. That is 3240 liters of total milk divided by 9, each should get 360 liters of milk every day. And what is the total of this uh, uh, diagonal here? Well, we can add that. We have a red 0, a red 1, red 2, up to red 8. All of them are in a unit space. So if we add them up and multiply by 1, we get 36. Then we have these blue digits from 0 to 8. If we add them all up, they are in not the tens, but this time the nines place. So multiplied by nine, they give 325. And this adds up to 360 as required. So diagonals is a trick. But unfortunately, we have just one diagonal in this square array. What about other diagonals? Well, here is a broken diagonal of sorts. So it covers uh, all the columns except the one and all the rows except the first. So if we take an element from the first row and first column, this diagonal would be complete. So 
this is the element that we should add to this uh, diagonal here. Similarly, if we take the next broken diagonal, we need these two elements. So now we know how to take these broken diagonals and patch them up with uh, the broken diagonals here. So here are all the diagonals. So the puzzle is solved. So all that now remains is moving these numbers so that these groups are visually apparent. So I'll take this lower triangle of this square array and just shift it here. And now you can see all the diagonals completely. Uh, let's arrange them further in groups. And you'll notice we have gone back to our original decimal numbers. Now for the sake of completeness, let's check if uh, the solution that we got is a unique solution. The answer is of course no, because instead of taking the diagonal that goes from upper right to lower left, we could have taken a diagonal that goes from upper left to lower right. And we could have had a different but similar solution. And of course, once uh, this distribution is achieved, uh, the brothers can still swap pairs or triplets or quadruplets of cows, uh, which give you the same amount of total milk. For example, here, uh, we can take, say, uh, this pair here, 12 plus 28, which adds up to 40, and another pair here, which is 8 plus 32, 40 again. And we can swap those cows. And we still have the desired uh, distribution possible. Uh, there are other pairs, of course, one can think of uh, 11 plus 19 making uh, 30 and uh, 7 plus uh, 23, 30 again. Uh, here is uh, something that adds up to 80, another pair that adds up to 80 and we can swap them. Uh, here is a pair that adds up to 70 and we can swap them. And of course, after these swaps happen, there could be new combinations uh, of swaps uh, possible. So, uh, the number of solutions must be very large. So we have established there are multiple solutions, but uh, the swaps that we used uh, were kind of random. So let's have a geometric, a more systematic way of finding more solutions. And we are going to get dozens of them using this geometric approach. That will be covered in part two.